I want to talk about what I call the four aspects of framing the baseball. And people always thought, well, we have camps. I'll ask the kids the first time through. I'm like, all right, someone tell me how to frame a baseball. It always comes up to, well, you catch it over here and you bring it in there real fast. You move it real quick. Well, you know what? The umpire sees the same thing you do. I'm catching here. His eyes are right over my shoulder. So if I'm doing this, I know it's a ball, and I bring it here. Me and him both know it's a ball. The only guy that doesn't know it's a ball, your grandpa sitting up there, and he's going to start yelling at the umpire, and the umpire gets mad at you for making it look bad. So what I always try to tell our guys is be honest with your umpire. You're going to get more calls that way. Don't move it all the way. If it's out here, catch it. Throw it back to the pitcher. But balls that I'm trying to do, I'm trying to make that plate, the 17-inch plate, 21 inches. I'm trying to get two, maybe three inches to the outside. We all know umpires will call that, especially on cold days. They're going to call strikes. So if I can make it look good, I'm going to get some, get some strikes that might not be strikes. And the way that we're going to do that, number one, I'm going to sway to the pitch. And the way I sway the pitch is my ankles are going to go to the baseball. Think about that. If I move my ankles, my whole body sways. If I'm standing here and I'm just moving my ankles, my whole body goes with me. It's not shoulders. It's not butt. It's my ankles. And if my ankles move to the baseball, my whole body's going to go. So you guys can see when I'm swaying back and forth, I'm moving with my ankles. It keeps my shoulders level. I'm trying to keep my shoulders level as possible. I start tilting shoulders. I get in trouble. The guy that, that I think about as a big leaguer that sways really well or did, he just retired Jorge Posada. It wasn't the greatest catcher in the world, but when he swayed, he kept his shoulders behind the baseball and he would just move slightly. Get that Mariano Rivera three inch slider, three inch cutter, and just make it a strike by moving his shoulders. Now, the, the guy that I think about that tried to sway and struggled with it, Javi Lopez. Javi, big, strong, 6'5", 260 pounds, he'd get back behind the plate, and Javi would cheat to the glove side, and a lot of catchers do this. It's very common. I just bring up Javi just because everyone watched him play. He's catching John Smoltz, who's throwing 95 mile hour two-seamers and 90 mile hour sliders. It's pretty tough to do. He would cheat to the glove side, and you guys all have catchers that do this, and you've seen this. A catcher that catches this pitch, this outside pitch, like that. My butt went to the right-hand batter's box. So I caught this ball like that. Javi Lopez used to catch that pitch like that. The reason being is I'm worried about my thumb. The hardest pitch to catch is the hard two-seamer right here. So I'm going to cheat to this side. So as the pitch is coming, I'm cheating this way, and all of a sudden now the ball is going here. My body's already gone. I catch it like that. That's what happens. So if I can stay in the middle, the phrase that I use with my guys let the ball tell you what to do. Relax, just like being a hitter. See the ball, see it deep, trust your hands, trust your reactions, and go to the baseball. So I'm gonna be in the middle. As I see the pitch coming, I'm just gonna to go to the ball. Look at the difference between that pitch with this sway and that pitch. Now I'm reaching. Big difference.